Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we're doing an English vocabulary lesson and the subject is women's clothes. So, let's start. We can say that Jane is wearing a dress. And here is the dress. We can also say that Jane is also wearing a pair of stilettos. Stilettos. And these are the stilettos. Stilettos are shoes with a high heel. This is the heel. H-E-E-L. So a shoe with a very high heel and a pointed heel. We call them stilettos. And this is a very special type of dress that you wear it on a very special day. So we call this a wedding dress. So Claire is wearing a wedding dress. Sarah is wearing a tank top. A tank top. Sarah is also wearing a skirt. And this one is a black skirt. Okay? Jane is wearing a pair of trousers. A pair of trousers. Trousers is a British English word. The Americans call them pants. Pants. So in America they would say Jane is wearing a pair of pants. Okay? Jane is also wearing a pair of flat shoes. Flat shoes. So flat shoes. Um, flat simply means that um, the heel is very low. Remember the stiletto shoes had a very very big heel. Well flat shoes are the opposite. They have a very very small heel and so the shoe is flat on the ground. Okay? Laura is wearing a pair of jeans. Okay, so this is uh, this is a pair of jeans, and as you can also see, Laura is also wearing a pair of flat shoes. Some more information about the jeans. If the jeans are very tight, we call them skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. So tight. It means if they are very, very close to the body. Okay, if they touch the body, they're very, very tight. So these, we can call them skinny jeans. Okay, because it's close to the skin. Now, let's talk about suits for women. There are two types of suits for women. Type number one. So type number one, a suit is made up of a jacket and a skirt. So this is the jacket and this is the skirt. Okay, this is type one. And there is another type of suit for women. And so the second type is a suit that is made up of a jacket and a pair of trousers. So this is the part that is different. So th this is the jacket again, and here is the pair of trousers. And don't forget that trousers is a British English word, and the Americans would call this a pair of pants. Okay? And in fact, in America, they call this type of suit, they call it a pants suit. A pants suit. Okay? Whereas in Britain, we simply call this a suit. Claire is wearing a blue and white top. A blue and white top. So this is the top. Now a top is just a general word for something that we wear on the top half of our bodies. Okay? So a t-shirt is an example of a top. Or maybe even um, a sweatshirt is an example of a top. Okay? So it's a general word. It's nothing specific. 
Claire is also wearing a pair of white shorts. So here is the pair of white shorts. Now this is a special type of top. And we say that Tina is wearing a white halter top. Halter top. And a halter top is a sleeveless top with straps that go around the neck. So sleeveless, this means without sleeves. So here, these are usually, the, these are the sleeves of a top and you can see that there is no material here. So this top is sleeveless. And the straps, these are the straps. Okay, these are the straps. And the straps go around the neck. They go around the neck. And I think that behind the neck there is a knot. I think they tie a knot behind the neck on a halter top. Okay? So Tina is wearing a white halter top. Jane is wearing a yellow blouse. A yellow blouse. And a blouse is a type of shirt for women. So it's a shirt which is specially cut for women. Sarah is wearing a blue jumper. A blue jumper. Now jumper is a British English word. The Americans call this a sweater. A sweater. And of course, we often wear jumpers during the winter. Jumpers are often made of wool, which is obviously a warm material. So we wear a jumper to keep us warm during the winter. Now, underwear. Underwear is the general word for clothes that we wear under our clothes, under our normal clothes, okay? So, here is a photograph showing women's underwear. And there are two items of underwear on this photograph. So at the top here, this is called a bra, a bra. And the bottom here, this um, article of clothing, these are called knickers, okay, knickers. Be careful of the pronunciation. The letter K is silent. We do not pronounce the letter K. So the pronunciation is knickers. And again, this is a British English word. The Americans call them panties. Okay, so American English. So we can say Claire is wearing a white bra and a pair of white knickers. Moving on, tights. So these are called tights. And again, this is British English. The Americans, they call them pantyhose. That's all one word. It's not two words, it's one word, pantyhose. So here is an example. Fiona is wearing a pair of black tights, a pair of black tights, okay? Now let's look at um, clothing that we wear to the beach. So we say that Jane is wearing a swimming costume. A swimming costume. So this is called a swimming costume. Now there is another word for this. The same item, but a different word. We can also say Jane is wearing a swimsuit. A swimsuit. So these are two words and they mean exactly the same thing, okay? So this red item of clothing is called a swimming costume or a swimsuit. And here is a different type of, um, of clothing that we wear to the beach. So we say that Sarah is wearing a bikini, a bikini. So a bikini is 
made up of two parts. This part is called the bikini top and this is the bikini bottom. And together they form a bikini. Bikini. Okay? Claire is wearing a pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses. We can also say that Claire is wearing a green coat. A green coat. So this is the green coat. Okay? And of course the sunglasses they protect us from the they protect our eyes from the sun. And more winter clothing. Jane is wearing a hat and scarf. Hat and scarf. And Jane is also wearing a pair of gloves. A pair of gloves. Okay, so this is her left glove or the glove that is on her left hand and this is the glove that is on her right hand. And we can also see that there are some buttons on the gloves and there are also some buttons on the scarf. She's also wearing a green jumper. Do you remember that word? She's wearing a green jumper. And the Americans would say she's wearing a green sweater. Let's look at some jewellery. Jewellery. Jewellery is the general word for this and this and also some other items. We can say that Sarah is wearing a pair of earrings. A pair of earrings. So here is one of the earrings. This is the earring that is in her left ear. And I'm guessing that in her right ear she also has an earring. Okay, so it's a ring for the ear. Okay, so it's quite a logical word, but it's all one word. And Sarah is also wearing a necklace. A necklace. Okay. And it looks like the necklace is made out of gold. Claire is carrying a handbag. A handbag. We don't, we don't say wearing a handbag, so this is why this is um, in bold. We say that Claire is carrying a handbag. So this is the handbag. And again, there is a difference between British English and American English. In American English, they call this a purse. A purse. So the Americans would say Claire is carrying a purse. Okay? So that's the end. I hope you've learned some new words. If you want to practice your speaking with a native English teacher, click here for information. And here are some other videos that I recommend.